could do without that. There we go. Let's let's fix that. You know, like the chai, let's the fix that. Does. Sarah's still getting down on her Hanukkah tunes over in California Adventure. We're gonna eat a lot of food today from Festival of Holidays, which is uh, basically our version of food and wine. Yes. Um, lots of seasonal offerings from different cultures around the world. Um, and we're both gonna be making videos, so. Cause there's too much food for one video. Too much food. Um, Truly. So watch the video on our channel. You're already watching this one, good job. Good job. Um, unless you came from Sarah's, then thanks. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's go in our matching dresses. Happy holidays, y'all. And buns. I'm Tiff, y'all. I'm Sarah, but my wings are not good. They're pretty good. Thanks. I praise. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> where, where are we? First of all, extras and grandma's recipes. I haven't. Oh, there's a there. the, ha ha. Hard pass. Maybe. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll get something here. Do you want anything here? I'm probably gonna get, I might get brisket or sweet potato pie. You gotta get brisket. I know, because I'm Jewish. <laughs> Yikes! Oh, you love it? The brisket is amazing. <laughs> but I got, for my things, the cheesy scalloped potatoes and this holiday punch from Festival Holiday Extras. Extra, extra. I want to know how extra this holiday bunch is. So um, I have no idea what's in this. This tastes like a Shirley Temple with ice cream in it. Yeah. That looks like your jam. This looks exactly like something I would eat every day of my life. Potatoes, Potatoes and cheese. It's kind of a, a sharper cheese. Mm. It's got a good. Don't mm that. You hate cheese. <laughs> like, you don't even know what that nice. means. <laughs> Winter slider land, and I had the uh, turkey slider last year, and I loved it. So I didn't want to get it again because I want new stuff. And I was thinking about the holiday ham slider, but um, I'm not sure about like how that pineapparella situation was. So they were really cool and they gave me a spoon to try it. Um, and there's definitely a sweet onion like sauce that I don't like. So now I'm not gonna get it. So it's cool that they let me try it so I didn't waste my money. I didn't look at the picture of this before I got it. It's a lot of frisé on that. Um, I am extremely concerned. What is this? It's like a cream. Yeah. You like creamy sauce. Yeah, but not when I don't know what it tastes like. I am, this is the bravest thing I might have ever done. No, eating a persimmon was. I hated it. <laughs> no, she does not like it. I remember when you asked me if I like spaghetti squash and I was like, no, because it's crunchy, crunchy and has a weird texture. That's what's happening. I'm probably gonna love it. It feels <laughs> like, what is this? Is this like a, um, what's it called? A pesto? Like this know. green stuff? I tried to avoid it. No, it's not like awesome, but I'm not disgusted by it. I don't love it. No, I, I would not recommend. Me neither. But not as bad as Tim's reaction was. Mm, it's probably not bad. Unless you like Tim. We're going over to the AP corner. I don't actually know what is happening at the AP corner this year. But it's we're going like with. Golden Vine Winery Garden in Trent. It's a photo thing. Oh, you wanna go see what it is? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I got a scary peek, I'm back here, but. Not just regular people can take this photo. Not -uh. AP only. Only AP. <laughs> but that's, that's what it is. See the picture right here. Here we are. Look at us. Look at us, look at that picture. <laughs> Bliss, blissfully braised, there it is. Lamb <laughs> cheeks. I tried the lamb cheeks for attractions. I was not a huge fan of these. They're interesting. I don't hate it. Good, good enough. I would yeah. never eat it again. No? No. There's a lot There's a of, lot of spices going on in these. There's just a lot of a lot, it looks like. Yeah. Trying the pork belly that's on a bed of rice and 
These, they're they're called something fancy, but these are literally just pork rinds. Get your oh. own. For, in Tennessee, these are dang pork rinds. Oh, yeah. I love it. <gasps> I love it. Oh, my lord. Oh, my she lord. likes it. Tristan likes it. I don't know if it's marinated in something, but it's kind of got a little bit of sweetness to it. Matt's going to be mad because he was supposed to eat this. This is the best thing. I'm calling it right now. Best thing I'm going to eat today. Wrap it up. We're done. We're done. Classic corks and casseroles. Green bean and mushroom uh, casserole, which is one of my favorite things to make. And all cheese on top? No, no, no. It's uh, like crushed, crispy onion things. Oh. Yeah. But like cheese in it, right? Um, no. Oh. Not usually. Like, I put cheese in my oh. green bean casserole when I make it, but that doesn't say there's any cheese in it. Uh, oh, yeah. This is a tip dish. A tish. It's very mushroomy. Um, I know, I love mushrooms so much. These, this is really nice. Um, it kind of honestly tastes like potato chips <laughs> on top. Like they're crispy onions, but you no, know, oh my god, you know what exactly what it tastes like? Is it's like ground up onions yeah. on top, and it's so nice. I like that you get that much of it too. I think you would like it, it's not cheesy. I'm afraid, I don't like creamy stuff. And you wouldn't like it. <laughs> Eat. what did you get? This is chana masala. What is, like, I'm gonna get in the shade. What is it? Uh, it's pretty much uh, Indian food. And spicy, a bit of spice, kind of like curry. And this is a grilled naan garlic. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And garbanzo baby beans. Is it good? Yeah, if you're, especially if you're a non-believer. <laughs> Just regular old macaroni and cheese from Holiday Duets. Macaroni and cheese. And cheese. It's a duet. And a little bit of breadcrumbs, so it's Wait, almost a trio. Uh, uh oh. What? How do you go wrong? This is really like this crumble is a cookie. I'm pretty sure this is a stale cookie. It's weirdly it's a cookie. It's cornbread? It's cornbread. Alright. It's sweet cornbread, but it's hard as a rock. It's good. It tastes like it's been sitting out for like 10 minutes probably you know has. it probably and it probably has but like I can tell that it has and the cornbread crumbles are not good in my opinion and they should be good but like why are they hard as a rock you know yeah this is a pretty big lie down cookie butter and jelly cheesecake they are very cute um, they're sitting in like a the crust is cookie this tastes very gingerbread-y. It doesn't taste cheesecake-y at all. Um, I feel like the use of the word cheesecake is a stretch, um, but it's very, it just tastes like a gingerbread cookie with like a gingerbread custard in it. I'm a little confused. Um, the jelly on it is very also super limited, but I don't know, it's, it's okay. It's not great. I like that you get two of them. You can share them easy. Spicy celebrations. I am passing on because I have tried the hot fried turkey and it is way too hot. And I've also tried the uh, tamale, the beef corn tamale. Also way too spicy for me. I don't want to try this, so Matt's going to try it. Um, Here we go. I don't, I'm not really into the pate. Which I actually don't. It was a huge bite. Matt's fearless. Cranberry, but like a like a hint okay. of chicken. Like, one out like of, a I chicken bread chicken with cranberry sauce on. One out of ten. Yeah. It's it's light, so like six. It's right. like it's nothing like life changing, but it's like a, a light snack. Okay. What would you That's give good. it one out of one out of ten? One out of ten? Um a seven or eight. Ooh. I got a six. Right, more from chips breads and holiday spreads is this queso. Are there any vegetables or anything in it? No. No? Awesome. My kind of queso. Oh, oh, look at that. I have like a 
a cheese pull on queso. Oh yeah, not spicy at all. Super cheesy. 10 out of 10, what do you recommend? Pear cranberry tart. Cranberry pear tart. Cranberry pear tart, this is what I said. You said pear cranberry, cranberry pear. I can't with this, I can't with this. Cranberry pear. Um, it's pretty. It is pretty. You wanna try it first? No. Okay. You get Fine. first bite. It's quite good. It doesn't taste like cranberry or pear, really. I don't know, I can't describe it. It's like hair. It's really cold. It's very cold. Mm -hmm. It almost tastes more like apple-y. It does taste like pear. I don't does think it? Tip, I don't think Tip knows what pear tastes like. I love pears. <laughs> if you like holiday spices and um, ambiguous fruit flavor, this <laughs> is. It's like it's good. It's just I don't. It's not what I was expecting. That's all. You know. Nothing to write home about. So from joy to the sauce, I got an apple lemonade that is topped with whipped cream and caramel. That's what I meant. I don't know why I said pumpkin. The apple lemonade reminds me of the apple lemonade during the Halloween time. Oh, I thought you meant red apple freeze. No, that's just like frozen apple juice. But I feel like when you get the whipped cream and the caramel in there, that's what makes it a little more holiday festive. Pretty good. We officially, between the two of us and everybody else in our group, tried something from every single kiosk. Um, my favorite thing of the day was the... You like the... Pork green belly. And the green bean castle. I think the pork belly was my favorite. Um, biggest letdown of the day, surprisingly, the was the mac and cheese. <laughs> so if you uh, want to see everything else that we tried, jump over to Sarah's channel, link is below. Um, and then let, let me know what you want to try. Yeah. If you come. Yeah. Till January 7th.